Okay. Let's, let's go again. Uh, we could skip this. You we need could... to shake them off, Abby. This whole rotten family, like I did. <laughs> New information. You didn't shake them off too, Av. One of them's trying to kill you. Okay, you got, you got a point there, kiddo. <sighs> oh, shit. Mum's calling me. Don't answer it. Come on, Abby. Ignore her, please. He's interested in serial killers. She knows and, how to leave uh, a message. That must mean he is a killer himself sometimes. But you know how there's people that like watching serial killer, like documentaries and stuff like that. But it doesn't mean they're necessarily a killer. Killer. Yeah. See? Wasn't that so hard? That felt weird. You know, your mom gave me a big pitch at the meeting. Told me that I should be selling my share to the rest of the family. I told her dad left me the business. And they would get my share only when they pried it from my cold, dead hands. I just kind of thought they'd wait a few years. <laughs> they would, they would never. You don't know that, Abby. Look, I've been having a lot of research done recently for my autobiography, and this family has got secrets, believe me. I wouldn't put anything past them. Oh, well, shit. I should really so you got new, the quiz before mom kills You got me. new evidence? That wasn't gonna be a joke. I know. You can do this. Yeah, that's good. That's good to not join the military you know what, sometimes, George. You know what makes them tick, right? Use that to your advantage. I talked to a guy recently who up? has some crazy well, PTSD from I'm being in Iraq. My life, unfortunately, on that not happening. Okay, I'll try. I'll be here, listening, and I'll help as much as I can. Remember, Abby. Find the poison. Find the proof. Find the killer. How are we supposed to find the poison in this situation, though? That's what I'm... Mom wanted the rest of the family to buy Uncle Marcus out, so we got that. That's fine. Your mom's on the warpath. I would just leave her alone for now. I think your best chance of success is probably speaking with Lottie, Toby. If you're feeling brave okay, enough, so, June. so we can definitely cut... maybe because it's We can cut birthday, off Lottie. you should go first. No. Well, how I think about I think we need to focus on first, on June. Just fuck off to bed. Um, let's speak to Toby. Yeah, I think I think it's Hi, I think Toby. it's I think yeah, it's, you're gonna have to speak up, Abs. It has to be June. War torn place is gonna be pretty heavy. T Toby, you know I'll do anything for a good cause. Sorry, can you or hear me now? Maybe. Yeah, Abs, you're gonna man. have to repeat that. Uh, no, I was just, I was just oh, saying... Matt, this traffic is crazy. Uh, well, thanks for still coming to the quiz. I'm sure Mum really appreciates it. You know, most people ask about why I'm here, Abby. What are you doing in a van in the middle of war-torn Africa, Tobes? What amazing causes are you risking your life for now? Are you know, just the good of the planet? Giving my fellow humans a chance at a better life? Well, aren't there militias swarming through that jungle? Yes. All right. But it's a risk I've got to take. I mean, if I don't do this, who will? Someone else. Ah, oh, shut up, Abby. You're nice and comfy there on your throne of privilege. Don't worry about the rest of the world. I mean, when was the last time you did anything to help someone else? To give without the hope of receiving, just because it's the right thing to do. Well, well, last week I donated to an appeal for a little dog that needed an operation on its foot. I'm talking about real change here, Abby. Real causes, not limping bloody Labradors. That's fucked up, yo. Well, it was a bulldog, actually. So that was a waste of time. What did I do wrong? Listen, the guy's a complete jerk. You just need to find a different way to talk to him. All right, so yeah, I got to stroke Don't his worry ego. Don't about it for now, and let's, let's just get back to the quiz. Got to stroke his ego. Okay. No, it's not that complicated, all right? You, you just have to compare which kind of wound bleeds faster. Oh, we haven't listened to him right, or his question 50, yet. 50 chance. You know, you, you're going to get some right accidentally. I don't mind going first. We don't have to do Bradley's weird thing. Just hurry up, Lottie. Awesome. Uh, it's just, I haven't actually thought of anything yet. Then think of something. Okay. Uh... Ooh, I know. I'm doing like a little inside Lottie promotion on Insta. A little treat for the Lot Squad. What in Christ's name is the Lot Squad? 
That's what my Insta fans call themselves. It's good, right? I came up with it. I assume more Actually, not that bad. was already taken. Anyway, I was thinking I might do a little quiz for my fans on there, so we can try that. We don't know anything about your fans, Lottie, or care. That's okay. The questions are about me and you guys know me, right? Everyone pick your teams, please. Okay. Toby, do you want to team up with me? Ah, uh, did someone just say my name? Yeah, I was asking you. Poor thing. I mean, you're talking to us like we were children. Uh, James. Hold on. We need evidence. We need... We need evidence on Nan and Mom, Toby, Aunt June. I feel like we could press June. We have... We have two things of her already started uh, it play play with mom oh so you want to be in a team with me well at least you're not June did you like the present I got you mm, remind me the earrings oh yes that's right you think they suit me, do you? Well, I just think you look great in anything. Okay, question one. Whenever I'm in Dubai, I go to Dimitri Chateau's. He does my favorite dish in the world. What is it? What a stupid question. How on earth am I supposed to keep track of every culinary fiasco that Lottie gets obsessed with? You watch it on Instagram. And whatever it is, it'll be some sort of bizarre vegetation, won't it? Pretend. It's trendy to eat a hedge now. Yeah, I haven't got a clue either. I, you're right, I, I don't know how she expects us to know these. <laughs> Shall we just guess? You can think of something. Sure. Uh, Hunter's chicken? She likes that. So we, we kind of have to be sassy with mom. So the dish is called Humility. Even the name makes me feel sick. It's a specially prepared <laughs> ketogenic hemp and tofu bowl served with wild quinoa. Oh my god. Oh, seriously unreal. Fucking being Californian. Question two. I like to use my channel to help others. So which charity did I recently promote on my socials? Oh, I know this. Toby was arguing with her about it at the meeting. Unis saying it wasn't a real charity. Unicef? At the meeting. Mm, Toby was going mad. He was on edge about something all evening. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. to be at the meeting. Like he had something to get out of it. He didn't even come last year. Didn't he? Claimed he had a mindfulness retreat in the Cairngorms. Oh, I know what it was. It wasn't a charity. So that's evidence on Toby. It was a Toby. fundraiser for an eco-fashion brand that was going out of business now. Green pieces. That's what they were called. Was anyone else acting strange at the meeting? Oh, stop it, Abby. I don't want to talk about that now. Tonight's about family and fun. The two Fs. Don't make me add another. Christ, I tried some of the green pieces stuff once. It's all recycled. You're literally wearing someone else's rubbish. Disgusting. Uh, how do you spell green pieces? Piece of something. Piece of my mind. The answer to that one is green pieces. <laughs> it's a cause very close to my heart, so everyone here can go support them. I know you've got the money. Well, I'm not giving them a penny. I mean, that's not fashion. It's just cardboard bloody tracksuits. Talk <laughs> amongst yourselves, guys. When I have question three, I will shout. Sorry I missed the meeting, Mum. So you should be. It was the usual nightmare. Don't see why you should get to escape it. The one consolation, Marcus came off worse this time. I mean, I know you've hero-worshipped that man ever since your father died, but he really is an awful prick. Damn. What happened? Oh, didn't anyone tell you? Auntie June knocked one of her foul-smelling candles right Yeah, we saw onto this. Him. We heard about Christ this one. Christ knows what sound it was supposed to be. Terrible yeah, that's, I was thinking Toby earlier today, just because he was kind anyway. of acting a little shifty. And Marcus's shifty. jumper started to burn instantly. So Toby threw his drink straight in Marcus's face, said he was trying to put out the flames. Though how you missed by that much accidentally, I don't know. So then I poured Marcus's drink over him. Well, I wasn't going to waste my gin on him. Of course. Then Marcus started shouting about Auntie June burning his hand. And Lottie came in with an old wet rack, which she said was cold, and started rubbing it on the burn. Then your nan found a first aid box and started trying to dress the wound. Bradley came in with, well, they were pills. We said they were painkillers. Would you trust anything Bradley gave you? 
This is the only thing with Bradley mm, is the painkillers. Okay. The internet loves me for my eyes and my unique style, but which of my special talents has recently got them obsessed? It was only a matter of time before she brought up singing. I, I think that she might mean something else. She can't do anything else. Well, she posted this video last week of her doing, like, this viral dance. Um, it was called The Shaker. You basically just shake your... Shake your yeah, ass. I can guess. Don't worry, Mum. Loads, loads of people are doing it. Loads of people aren't in this family, Abby. So do we, I guess we, we could just go with Mom with her answer. And if she's wrong, then that's on her. But we're going to have to play along with Mom. Just pick an answer. The drink with poison. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. There's so there's so many ways that he could have been poisoned. You get the painkillers. The answer is singing. Yesterday, I did an acapella version of that. The candle is not it. Out of it. it would either be the painkillers or something like numbers. the drink. Like you said, maybe the drink was poisoned you or something right, like that. I need to have a word with Lottie about that shaker. You're not going to tell her that I. Of course, she needs to know she can't trust you. She also needs to know that what she puts on her social media reflects on the family. It's not just her own reputation she's ruining. Question four. How many dance championships did I win as a kid? God, she loves herself. Baffles me where she gets it from. Dance championships. I can work this out. Lottie only danced between 10 and 14, and there was a dance competition every... What was it? Every four months. Now, Lottie would never ask this question if she'd ever lost a competition. So, four years, a dance competition every four months, 12 months in a year, and... Oh, shit, no-one in real life does maths without a calculator. Um, I've got one on my phone somewhere. So, four years, four months. It's, a, it's 20, I guess. Yeah, sure. Or 16, 12. Is it 12? Is it 12? I'm not good with math, man. It's not 20. Oh, you know, it would be four years, four months every year, four, four by four, it's like 16. She said 10, she said 10 to something. I'm going to say, I'm going to just go with 20. I think it's 20. Fine. The answer is a record 12 wins. Got it. I mean, my coach said it was the best he's ever seen, and he's been doing it for like 90 years or something. Nice. Someone else can go now. I'm getting like really low on my social battery. This is like hard work. Thank God for Renato. It'd be me taking Lottie to all her competitions and lessons. I'd have died of boredom. Dude. It was basically the only reason I paid Renata. This Worst is... au pair we ever had. Apart from the she one that's She has to be like the jewelry. worst mom ever. But even she knew her way around the kitchen. <laughs> Maybe not the worst I mom just ever, remembered but something. She's a pretty bad Auntie mom. June once tried to pair Bradley with Lottie. Renata said he came to two sessions, sulked the whole time, and didn't even attempt one step. <laughs> um, how is Bradley? Oh, same as ever. Weird and eternally disappointing. That boy must be on a database somewhere. Was he <laughs> being weird? At the meeting, too. Now you come to mention it, he was being a bit stranger than usual, kept disappearing throughout the night. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. He'd been blocked from another one of his social media sites. June said he put up a photo of a severed foot. Imagine seeing that if you'd just gone on to get tips for a sourdough starter. Yeah, imagine. Let's go. Okay, so we got more, we got evidence on Bradley now. I am never teaming up with that freak. Again. I was only trying to make conversation. Uh, have you told Mum about your latest purchase? Huh? He's bought a gun, Mum. Literally the very gun that was used to murder that famous astronaut. No, it's not the exact gun, it's the same make of gun, right? There's the a difference. Same oh, for God's sake, you two. If I have to listen to you beggaring anymore, I'm going to come up to Bradley's room and blow my own brains out. Your mom's pretty tricky to talk to, but you did good, kid. I also have some new... Oh. News that could really help us. The doctors have managed to narrow the poison down to three possibilities. So let's take a look at what we have. Is 
So the only one we haven't chosen is, uh, what's it called? Um, this is the evidence. We're missing one evidence from talking to mom. Toby was going mad. He was on edge about something all evening. Never seen him so keen to be at the meeting. Okay. Yeah, signal's not great here, guys, so uh, I'd rather do my round later. I can give it a go, as long as someone explains the rules to me again. Oh, no. No, look, I'll do my round. Fuck. Let's try and bring some order and civility back to proceedings, shall we? Dare I even say a bit of class? <laughs> I shall perform a piece of music. One of the class. Oh, uh Hold on, okay, so we have... Nothing on non, nothing on mom. We got three, two on Bradley now. We have that he was in a bad mood. His hands were shaking. But like you said, George, I don't think it was Bradley, to be honest. Auntie June, we need one more about Auntie June. So I think we need we need at least three we need at least three um pieces of evidence to unlock the ability to accuse them. So we need to get, we need to get more, one more on Toby, one more on Bradley, and one more on Auntie June. Uh, so we need to go with Lottie or Bradley. Well, we know Lottie. We know Lottie was not. Uh, Lottie was not it. So it. She would have Hi, babe. Hi, Lassie, on you okay? People. Just trying to figure out what I should wear for my live stream tonight. Don't know if I should wear a million or cerulean. I'd wear Vermilion, 100%. You would? I'll wear Cerulean. Thanks, babe. Call that. Call Everyone it. listening? Good. <clears throat> la la la, la 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 la. La la la, la I mean, la, la, I recognize la, it, but I, la, yeah, I don't know. But, Toccata and Fugue in D minor. La. Oh, easy. Easy. Oh, did you see how she did that? She's, she's, uh... Yes. She likes that bigger sugar. That was sugar. quite an easy one. Bass, to Carter and Fugue in D minor. Now, let me have a little think about what I'm going to do next. <laughs> how did you know that? Don't you remember? Mum used to play it all the time when we were kids. She even put it on at the meeting. It's like her hype song. Uh, she did? <laughs> yeah. She said something about it helping her gird her loins, whatever that means. Yeah. I think she was probably just trying to drown out the sound of all the arguments, to be honest. Well, nice one, babe. Thanks, babe. Thanks, oh my babe. God, you missed a mad one the other night. Did I? Yeah. Like, so much random stuff happened. I was speaking to Auntie June, and she said she had this, like, big, horrible spelling candle made especially for the meeting, and she called it something weird, too, like, closure. That is weird. I know. Like, if you're going to have something specially made for the meeting, at least make it something we can all enjoy. Like... What's wrong with pizza? Evidence. Okay. Evidence. I know what I'm doing for my next piece. We can we can we can call out Auntie June now. Yeah, I really don't know. Let's hungry rhapsody number two. Is it? Look at Lottie. Hungarian rhapsody number two, yeah, that's it. Dude, Lottie's culture. Thanks. And that answer was clearly the charming Hungarian Rhapsody number no. two by the original rock star, Franz Liszt. I knew it. Uh, now give me a moment while I think about my next piece. Abby, what are you doing? You gotta get back to the quiz, Abby. Abby! Where did you go? Got some ham, Sammy sounds okay nice, George. On? You look all like Sandwich funny. sounds really good right now. Don't you worry about getting like, lines. No. I uh, guess. So um, we ended up getting another piece of evidence sorry, against Aunt apologize June. to me, babe. Apologize to your skin. Oh, uh, yeah. Will do. Thanks. So, um, do you remember anything else about we... Auntie June at the meeting? Same old pisshead. Right. She really hates Uncle Marcus, though. Everything he said seemed to make her blood boil. That we have enough evidence to accuse Auntie kids. June now. Like, seriously, every time Marcus said something, Auntie June would get up and start pacing the room to try and chill out.
right, I'm starting my next piece. Oh, that's four pieces of evidence against Auntie June. Holy shit. That's even more than we had against Lottie. Oh my god. Did you do that? No, I think she's pressed something. Oh my god, this is my favorite everything. I'm putting this on. Shit's really sucking. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Who did this? Uh oh. Speak up. Mom, I think you put a filter on accidentally. <laughs> Honestly, this game is fun. I like this game. It is it's such a simple idea, but it's it's Answers. These actors now. did a really good job. I can't even remember what she did. <gasps> oh wait, two seconds. Uh uh Mozart Ronda Alataka. Dude. How do you know all of these? It's all that blow she's doing, dude. That was Mozart's Rondo Alataka. I need a moment to consider my next piece. This is it's really great, Lottie. I had no idea that you knew so much about classical music. Oh, yeah, I love it, hon. Love it. That last one used to be my ringtone when I was a kid. I just like listened to it over and over and over. Ask what Lottie means. What do you mean? What? 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 what wait. What? Pretend you know. Oh yeah, totally. Just don't tell anyone. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Duh. <laughs> right. Well, let's not waste any more time. Oh, oh Christ! I think I strained something. Oh, you. This. None of this is worth me doing any serious damage to my voice. Not even a mild twinge. <laughs> Someone else can do their round now. Oh my god, that was actually so much fun. Yeah, I'm kind of gutted I missed the meeting now. Seemed like it was pretty entertaining. Oh, it wasn't all that. What happened? Bradley being Bradley as usual. Oh. He's like oh. a weird little kid who's like always Another Bradley clue. You out. Except this time he was like pissed off with me over nothing. What was he mad about? Has he ever shown you his collection? No, but he has offered. Oh my god, don't do it. I asked him about it like once and now Clutch he's obsessed with updating me. Every single time he gets a new piece of, whatever you call it, murderabilia. What stuff did he show you? Dead mouse in a jar, a knife someone used to slit their throat and like this thing he said was a shrunken head. Ugh, anyways, he was pissed off because he thought he lost something. I don't know what, but he was like really freaking out and he was scared I'd taken it. Hmm. Oh, wonder what he'd lost. He's like really excited to show me these two poisons. He said oh, they shit. were extremely deadly and like super illegal. Poisons? Yeah, he must have been like freaking out he'd get caught. Lottie, do you remember the name of these poisons? Oh <laughs> shit. God, no. Actually, I think he sent me an email about it. What? Yeah, I guess I wasn't impressed enough. Thallium, so it's thallium. Like, Prove to me how deadly they were. <laughs> I never even read it. Please tell me that you still have that email. Did you we just? Emails, babe. They're like made of air. Lottie, can you send me that email, please? Did we just figure oh, out that oh, it was Bradley? I really need to set Bradley to spam. <laughs> Here you go. Yo, no way. Did we just figure this out? Thallium. Oh, shit. Polonium. Oh god, I just remember the half decomposed sheep skull he showed me. No. It, it was Bradley's item, but he didn't do it. That would make sense. Yeah. So, dude. Fabulous it, birthday so far, Flig. How, how funny that we figured out the poison the first time playing it. Dude, that was so close. My favorite. If you value your life, stop asking questions. At least we know what it is and the fact that you fucking um, guessed it. Yeah, right. Jesus Christ, what the hell? They're on to me. Who? The killer. I got an email, anonymous. They no, told me Abby. to stop or... or. The anonymous oh emailer I, I could be Brad. I'm afraid it is too late for that. It's on No, I can't. I told Brand you. Abby. No, I'm not built for this shit. What are they going to do to me? Abby, stop or Toby. Stop. Or Toby. Or Toby. Stop. Stop. Well, <laughs> Marcus? <laughs> are you okay? getting worse, Abby. I've got less time than I thought. It, Don't it, give up on me. It would make sense for Auntie really June to I take got. Bradley's poison, or Toby to take Bradley's poison, Please, unless Abby. Toby has been away Please. for as long as he has been. Okay. I don't know. 
Hell yeah, dude. We got all the... All the... We got all of these. We got all of them. Let's fucking go, dude. So this is all the evidence we have. Look at that, dude. We got four on Auntie June. We got three on Bradley. Oh, we can't even... We need one more for Bradley. We can't even... We can't even accuse him yet. We only needed three for Lottie. We have... Four, four, so we can accuse Auntie June. One more for Bradley. We got nothing on Mom and Nan, though, which is crazy. Not one time. And then we need probably two more for Toby, but I think obviously Auntie June is going to be the next one to, uh, to be uh, okay. accused. Okay, listen up, guys. Uh, my signal seems to have settled down a bit, yeah? So let's do my run now. But listen, I've got a pretty cool the new only, spin. The only reason on why I think it would be Everyone her teams. the bomb is because right, she yeah, wanted yeah, the sure, company cool. yeah, or something like that. Let's start there. Uh, Lottie, will you... Ew, no. Don't let her talk to you like that, Bradley. Well, you say worse to him every day. The other day you called him a slug. That was affectionate. At least my Bradley's not a brainless, stuck-up little moron like Lottie. I'm not stuck up. Do you? You ever speak to my daughter like that again? Oh, and I'll flick. I didn't know you'd suddenly become interested in your children. Stop. I'll like team up with Bradley, whatever, if it'll save another argument. Cool. Let's just make this clear. You can team up with me, but that does not mean you can talk to me. Okay. We're gonna expand some minds here, guys. Okay. So we have enough <laughs> hey, evidence for Auntie. Auntie Felicity, June. look, just Give me a chance, and I might just change your life for the better, yeah? Toby, I feel like the only we need way evidence on my life on better. my mom and Nan. never speak to me ever again. <laughs> I think, I think we have to go with Auntie June here, just because we don't have anything on mom and Nan yet, and I think we know that we can accuse her, so maybe we'll get some dialogue about her. If we go with mum, there's a chance that we might get uh, information on Nan and vice versa. But I think it's safe to go with Auntie June to try to get either one of these. Or more on Bradley. Hi. Or Toby. And just like that, I've got a headache. What's up, Darth? How you doing, man? Sorry. So we're going to mix things up here and we're going to be doing some of the workshops that I teach in the schools and I'll be awarding points for empathy. Ugh, okay? Jesus Christ. That's not a quiz, No, Toby. it's so much more than that. This is an exercise where we can have fun and learn something. Yeah, he seems Just crazy. Just ask a question, Toby, like a normal person. Yeah, it doesn't really work like that. Toby, ask a fucking question. You've never supported me. Oh, oh God, you know what? Just, oh, wait there. You know, I, I knew you'd do this. <laughs> earlier, er, one. earlier I said, I said would, continue to rise, as Darth would it lead say. to an increase or a decrease in precipitation? Just say rain, Toby, for Christ's sake. Just say rain. Just like his father. Complete, utter embarrassment. I totally missed the question. No, uh, it's an increase. Shall we go with increase? Well, it's 50-50, Abigail. I'm sure you can handle it. The answer is increase. Let's go. Things are only going to Hell get yeah. worse unless we act. Well, what a lucky guess. Congratulations. How do you know I, how do you know you I guessed? The equivalent brain power of a flipped coin. Fuck you. Thanks. Question two. Which greenhouse gas traps more of the sun's heat, carbon dioxide or water vapor? Another 50-50. It's clearly as much as Toby's tiny mind can take. It just goes to show it can cause permanent damage having one's head permanently stuck up one's own asshole. I imagine it would be carbon dioxide. Well, guessing worked for me last time, so I'll go with carbon dioxide. Water vapor. Doesn't sound right. The correct answer, water vapor. Fuck off. See, I told you you'd learn something, guys. Have you always been this dim, or am I just noticing it now? You didn't I mean, even all that try. money your mother spent on your education, and here you are, guessing in a quiz. A quiz made up by Toby. It was a tough question. 
Question three. As a result of climate change, over 200 species of frog have gone extinct. And that's just since the 1970s. But what's the biggest threat that frogs face? I might not have to guess this one. I actually saw a documentary the other day. You watch documentaries about frogs? Yeah, I guess. Well, it was about a lot of different animals. Anyway, I think the answer is disease. Warmer yes, climates. Yes, yes, whatever. But if you ask me, the biggest danger frogs face is the French. So... Put something down, Abigail, before he moves on. The French, dude. Cats. The answer I was looking for was disease. Abby, the French, really? This is the 21st century. Hmm? <laughs> we left that kind of casual racism back in the 90s, OK? Let's go, dude. <laughs> Silly little girl, did you think I was serious? <laughs> Question four. What percentage of the world's coral reefs have died over the past Well, does she know I'm about to years? accuse her ass, dude? I've had enough of this. Toby. Are any of these questions going to be not depressing? I mean, normally just the sound of your voice is enough to make me want to end it all. It doesn't need any more encouragement. Oh, sorry, Mum. What, you want me to do more stuff on the fun side of our planet dying? You know what? I really tried with this, but I can tell by the answers I'm getting that none of you are taking this seriously. So, you know, someone else can do around that. I don't care anymore. That's fine with me, dude. What a waste of time. Well done, Abigail. The Auntie June, I, I, I need to... Look, something terrible has happened to Uncle Marcus. Oh, what else shit is he coming out with now? Has he got aliens coming after him? Is that it? What? The thing you have to understand about your dear Uncle Marcus is that he's a nutter. Oh. Complete paranoid fantasist. Big old Do you nutter. know, one year, he thought his business partner was trying to kill him. Yesterday he was getting threats. Anonymous emails, anonymous. The one in Aussie sending is dying. them to himself. Oh. So he got shutters, put on all the windows, surveillance cameras everywhere. Do you know what happened? Nothing. Obviously. Your Uncle Marcus lost his marbles a very long time ago. Lost his marbles. He's dangerous. He's dangerous. Don't trust a word he says. So this is our option. We can either trust him or we don't trust him. But I think we already know that if we do if we don't trust him, he dies. For sure. So, in this round, we're definitely going to accuse Auntie June because we have fucking four pieces of evidence Kid. against her. We need to talk. Abby, please. Please. If we had more time, I could explain. You said this was real. It is real. How can I trust you? How can I trust anything that you say now? I'm not paranoid. Some guy was making threats. It wasn't in my head. Oh, okay, so maybe I took the threats a little too seriously, but how was I supposed to know? <laughs> how was I supposed to know he wasn't gonna follow through? How was I supposed to know that? As far as I was concerned, the guy was nuts. And then June got a hold of it, Abby, and the whole thing got twisted. And I, I, I don't know why I didn't tell you. I don't know. I, 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 I didn't want to scare you. So why are you telling me this time? This time? Just because they're Abby, just because you're paranoid. It just don't doesn't mean make any not sense. You, you tell me the story that someone's trying like to kill you, chance. and now, now I find out that you've done this before. This is not the same. Uh, how? Abby, I'm fucking dying. <laughs> I'm fucking dying here. <laughs> Look, Abby, you either trust me or you don't. And if you don't, then this whole thing is done. And you're never going to know the whole story. Is that what you want? Yes, yeah, so me too. Is that what you want, Abby? We haven't Just done know this. I'm the only person in this family that would never fucking lie to you. We haven't said do not trust Uncle Marcus yet. We've always trusted him. I huh. feel like if we do say don't trust Uncle Marcus, he will literally die. Because he did die in the last one. So let's trust him again. I, I'm going to accuse Aunt, I believe you. Aunt June. You don't know how much I needed to hear that, Abby. Especially with how I'm feeling right now. 
So, listen, I think some of the stuff Auntie June told me could really help us. <coughs> you okay? Fuck, no! I just spat out a bunch of fucking maggots! God damn it. There's, there's nothing there. <laughs> fucking everywhere! Uncle Marcus, I, I can't see any maggots. Fuck, Abby, get help! What? The fucking snake! This fucking snake, Abby! It's choking me! There's, there's nothing there! <laughs> what? There's no yeah. snake. It's really not there. Fuck. Fuck. Hallucinations have started, Abby. Doc says once I start seeing things, you can count how long I have left in minutes. So we got nothing from June, dude? Fuck, we fucked up, dude. I better get back in there then. It's so hard to yeah. find Ju to find June or, or to get stuff from her, dude. She's almost impossible to, to, to fucking <coughs> deal with. Uncle Mark. <laughs> what is it? I'm out of time. No use pandering to their egos anymore, kid. I won't be around long enough. If you want to save me, you got to find the truth. Good luck, good luck, kid. I guess this is it. Absolutely not. I'm telling you, I can do it. This quiz has been enough of a disaster so far. Oh, let your sister have a go. It'll be chaos. Look at her. She's just had a couple of drinks. No harm in that. A couple of drinks? Yeah, She's had right a there. cellophane. No harm in that. Look, nobody has anything ready. But I do. I have questions. Lots and lots of questions. Can I team up with you, Mum? Oh, I just know I'm going to regret this. Dude, Lottie's dope as hell, dude. Lottie was you actually You are really going smart. to play nicely, aren't you, June? Of course I am. I always play nicely. Bradley... July. Oh, hold on, so we... Can you get me the boozer chick's number? <laughs> okay, so... Okay, so again, we can we can already accuse Auntie June. We're so close to getting, to getting one more piece about Bradley. Lottie, we already know... Mom, Nan, and Toby. So I feel like either Toby or Nan is the way to go here. So we can either get a piece of information on Bradley or Mum or Toby. So I'm thinking Toby ask about the uh, about the case. Yeah, okay. That sounds good, George. Good good idea. Hi, Abs. Toby, do you know anything about Bradley's poisons? His what? Bradley has oh, shit. had two poisons in his collection. Have this you seen them? Have you dialogue. touched what them? What are you talking about? If you know something, you have to tell me. Honestly, Abs, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Toby, tell me the truth. Abby, I couldn't give less of a shit about Bradley or his weird hobby. If you've got a problem with him, take it up with him. Okay, everybody, respectfully shut up and listen to me. Question one. How many times did Toby tell the school counsellor that I was neglecting him? Oh, God, here we so go. So that we'd be forced into another family therapy session and he could get to see his dickhead father. I know this sounds bad, but I only had the idea after she actually neglected me. I told the counsellor that Mum forgot to cook me tea because she was so drunk, which was the truth. And he organised the first session. I mean, if she'd just let me see Dad in the first place, I wouldn't have had to lie about the rest. Okay. So here is answer the question. So we would either know or ask about the meeting. I think with the meeting, he might be pushy. So we just answer the question. Wait, do you remember how many times? What? Uh, that's the question. Oh, right, yeah. I don't know, it could have been anything. Let me think. Six 
is, uh, this is good. No, I've gone that much. Oh, maybe four. That's still quite a lot. They had to take each complaint seriously. You know, blame the system, not me, yeah? Uh, well, let's try four. So the answer is six times. Six times of having to prove I'm not such a terrible mother. Six times having to sit across from we haven't the seen this biggest dialogue yet. mistake of my life. What the fuck? Wait, biggest mistake? That, that, that's dad, not me, yeah? That's fucked up, dude. What Still, the fuck? Still all blood under the bridge now, of course. Damn, dude. These people Abby, are terrible, man. I need you. What is it? What's the matter? Time's up. Doc okay. says if I take the right antidote now, I might just make it. So I can't trust my brain right now, kiddo. Thallium, we win. Obviously, we know that. So we're gonna try okay, the, the first option this time. Whatever happens, happens. Oh shit! Just choose. Oh Please. dang! So this, so if you, if we do get enough information on Bradley, it takes up, it makes it fifty-fifty instead of a one out of three chance. That's pretty cool. Okay, so this is the one that's going to kill him. Thallium, we would win the game because he Thallium would survive. Thanks, kid. Okay. Right. Right. Bottoms up. He's going to die. He has to. Yeah, he's going to die. He survives. Marcus! Yeah, he's, he's, he's done. It's Thal yeah, it's Thallium, George. Yeah, it's th Thallium's the only one. Yeah. No. I think. No. I think. I mean, I get what you're saying. I, I get what you're saying, George. Uh, but I don't know. I'm I just. I doubt you did this. I won't let you down again. Like, how would that work logically? Because the, the the first playthrough, it technically wouldn't be in the same. Dang, till we messed up that one too. Abby, where have you been? Okay, so we get oh, to a, we, doing it for a we're gonna be accuse. Be quiet, June. Are you okay, love? You're gonna have to speak up, Abs. We're gonna Some accuse Auntie June. Pretty heavy rain here. Is she frozen? No. Here. If you look closely at her throat, there you can see she's still breathing. Ah, uh, this, this is live. Shut up. What was that? Just shut up, all of you! Abby, if I were you, I'd think very... Fuck. So... So now we have Auntie June. We're so close to being able to... to accuse Bradley and Toby. I still can't believe we have nothing on mom and man. So we know Lottie didn't do it. So let's let's go with June this time. Just like me, Auntie June. Use Auntie June. Let's see if we got it. Auntie June. Unless you're going to tell me I can carry on with my round, I don't want to know. What am I doing in here? I know it was you. You killed Uncle Marcus. You poisoned him at the meeting. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? <sighs> oh. Did we get it? Did we get it? Oh, well, that's been coming, I must say. Was that the guilt? What? Did the guilt make you do that? Oh no, she's drunk. Right. She's what drunk. Just you just told you <laughs> oh you my god. You killed Uncle Marcus. You poisoned him at the meeting and I'm not going to let you get away with it. Oh my god. <laughs> Marcus is dead. <laughs> well. Well, I can't say I'm going to miss him. Oh my god, dude. What you the fuck? You killed him. 
Oh, fucking hell, Abigail. What do you think I am? I mean, look at me. Because you asked... I'm a mess. Yeah, but you asked for the hit. I can barely keep track of what day it is, let alone plan an intricate poisoning. Christ, especially at the meeting. God, I was off my face. Look, I'm not surprised someone's had a go at the old prick, but it wasn't me. I'm sorry. I know you'd love to ruin me like this. What? Oh, you hate me. I terrify you. I'm, I'm the product of what this family can do to you, how it can destroy you. But you know what? It's exactly why I hate you. You've still got a chance. You're young, smart. You can still get out now before it destroys you. But you won't, will you? Because you're just like me. Oh, shit. Sure. I don't know what to say. Bro, this is kind of crazy, dude. Absolute train wreck. I'm sold. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> door. Attitude? Mm, Melf. Are you asleep? Oh my god. This is the worst night of my life. So it wasn't anti June. <laughs> So it wasn't Auntie June, it wasn't Lottie. So, oh my god, dude, what the fuck, man?